We've got cat brood. I see larva. We've got honey. And uh, this is Charlie Four. I don't have my tripod with me, but the queen is working. The queen's busy. I'm looking pretty good. The uh, dry pollen feeder is not active in any of the hives, but uh, they are getting pollen and they are building. It's mid-March. We're looking pretty good. I'm going to take the uh, insulation out and I'm going to add a sugar cake on this one. So once again, cat brood. I see uncapped brood, see honey. Not bad. Okay, so we're at uh, Bravo 4. And we're looking pretty good. This happens to be one of the... Uh, no. So we've got cat brood. I see the larva right in there. Uh, a healthy hive looking pretty good right now so the queen is up and moving the back side of this piece so we've got cat brood uncapped brood and we've got some honey in there and plenty of pollen so i think some of this some of these pollen stores might have been from the uh my diy <laughs> pollen substitute i'm not sure but we're looking pretty good for this one it's uh in early March so we'll see I've got to replace the beetle trap but other than that the hive looks pretty healthy I have two boxes on this one only three frames on the top box and they've got comb built but there's really nothing in there so we'll hit the monster next B3 <laughs> Bravo 3 I'll inspect this one later I just put a sugar patty in and uh, without question, the girls are hungry. So we've got three boxes here. I suspect we'll find here what we did in the other ones. They are collecting pollen from other areas here in mid-March. We'll have brood, cat brood. That's what I expect to find next week. But in the meantime, I just put a sugar cake in and I put some of the extra crumbs on the base here. <laughs> And they are all over it. So not having much rain here in South Central Texas. Yeah, they need a little extra help and they're getting it. <laughs> 